What is going on today, guys? We are back for another episode in Fear the Night. Now, instead of taking the two-story shelter, uh, we are just going to be taking this one-story shelter. Uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need an enforcer for um, the bigger shelter with brutes and stuff like that that come in numbers. We don't have the firepower for it. Um, I don't think it'd be a good idea. I really don't. I don't. I do not foresee it ending well at all. Um, so yeah, anyway, ended up getting three more scouts uh, off camera before. And so I got them all over here. They're all shut down right now. I don't want them getting in the way while we're doing this. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to grab our, our submachine gun here. And we're gonna be playing with that today for, for taking this over. Uh, we're also going to grab our ammo out of there as well. And we should have enough stuff on us to get this repaired up. I wasn't sure what it was going to cost, uh, but it's actually pretty cheap. So a couple batteries, uh, six power tools, and 30 recycled metal. So it's really not that expensive. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get this, and then we're going to set ourselves up the machine tool. Uh, and see what see what else from there now we are going to be putting an armor and weapons bench in here and trying to debate what what I want to put in here if we put an armor and weapons bench in here we'll probably want a construction bench and trying to debate Trying to debate what else to put in here. Because there's going to be four medium structure slots and the one large one for the machine tool. So we'll make the machine tool on camera as soon as we get this captured. But still got to think of what else to go in here. It's going to be a lot of storage slots or the small ones. Uh, I'm just going to use them for storage over here. We're not going to be putting like anything like... Um, uh, nothing like the the water purifier, the distillery thing. Nothing like that. No refrigerators. Our food our food shelter is going to be that one over there. Uh, and once we do get like an enforcer and level up, get some better gear, get some better weapons, stuff like that, we will be going ahead and trying to get ourselves that big two story shelter. But for now, I want to focus more on getting ourselves the resources we need to get better gear better weapons, all sorts of good stuff like that, and just keep advancing. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start this up, and I think I'm actually going to, nah, nah. Let's use the bow a little bit here. And then we got the big guy to deal with, so. This thing absolutely just rakes him down. We really don't have to stand up here. I mean, it's just kind of forced habit. I always tend to be up here. I mean, we could be down here. We could take the bat out and go ahead and just knock these guys around and kill them off. The only one we got to worry about is that poison gas one. Wow, can't believe that missed all of them. But, oh well. So this guy, just need to give him a little flurry of rounds. And he goes right down. These guys will go down pretty quick with this. That one's going to split apart. So yeah, we could go ahead and use this and just clear them all out with this. And this thing is like... A bit more than what we need at the moment, but... Why not play with it, right? Give him a little bit of a double tap there and he's done for. And just clear up the little guys as they come. Just like that. Goes pretty quick with something like this. I mean, even the M1A would work would work just fine for this. Uh, just would have to hit your shots pretty good. But, I mean, as you guys can see, this does more than good enough. Even if you do hit some body shots, I mean, it's pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. That guy is dead. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty quick, easy kill there.
There we go. What do we got left? Oh, it's almost done. A couple more waves, I think, and we'll be good. And then it's going to be ours. Then we can go ahead and get her all set up and go from there. There we go. Pretty easy. Lots of bullets go, go where they don't need to be, but it works out pretty good, so... does have a little bit of a kick to it uh, it's not exactly stable when you shoot it does float around a bit so guy died nice little controlled burst seemed to work pretty good with it though as you guys can tell just get about head or upper chest and and you'll get them so anyway that's gonna be it that is the last wave there and this thing is almost done and BAM good to go so that's it. It's not too hard to capture one of these, uh, especially in this area. The zombies aren't very high level. But if you are going to capture a two-story shelter, it, it does get more tricky. I've never tried to capture one in this area. Uh, there is one that is just up the road here. We could, I think it's actually this one here, that we could try. I um, believe that is, no, it's not that far. Because that, that's area four. Wait a second. No, that's area three. So it would have to be right in here. Well, no, maybe it is up there. Oh, wait. No, my apologies. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking right here. My bad. Uh, thinking this road here. So it should be... I believe it's right here. I believe it's this one. That's the two-story shelter. And that's actually area one. So we could actually take a look at that, see how that would go. But anyway, uh, as you can see by the different color in the map, and I actually forgot to show this last video, after we captured the layer, we now have occupied area one. Now what that's supposed to mean is you're supposed to see less zombies and you're supposed to see more uh, wildlife, the deer, the rabbits. Um, however, is that necessarily the case? Not exactly. Um, at least I don't, I don't think so. Um, I feel like the zombies tend to still be just as, just as heavy, but, um, I do feel like the wildlife has definitely increased. So anyway, that being said, we do have to go ahead and fire these guys back up. So they do start gaining XP again. We're just going to leave them out here for the moment. No need to bring them inside. Just fire them up here and storage three, two. There it is. Has all our benches. We've got a whole bunch of benches made up. I made one of each of the each of the normal ones. So we're going to grab our, our armor bench. We're going to grab our weapons bench, construction bench, and I'm debating if I want the salvage bench in here. I think I probably will, because that way when we come back from our, our loot runs and stuff, we'll be able to just go ahead and uh, salvage down our broken weapons and stuff like that. And the extra workbench I think we're going to hold on to for now. I wasn't sure what I exactly wanted to put in here, to be honest. I don't, I'm don't. i still not 100% sure if I want the salvage bench in here or not, or if I should just leave the one that's in the shelter across the road and call it good enough. Uh, I guess we'll just go for it, and we'll see what happens. So anyway, let's go on in now, and we can take a look here. So you can't do anything with the cupboards in here. Uh, they're just basically just for looks. But you'll see you got four small structures here, three there. There's another one there by the large structure, and then another one here. So nine total small structure slots. There's four of the medium ones, and then there is the big one. So we're going to take a look at making the machine tool now. So we're going to go ahead and place down our armor bench first here. And as you can see, it can go in any of these. It could also be placed on the large one as well, but you're not going to want to waste that there. So we're going to get that placed down. We're also going to put our weapons bench down right next to it here on this side. And then we're going to be placing the salvage bench over in the corner here. And our construction bench is going to go 
right there. So now we're going to also get some of these placed down here real quick. I'm going to put one here. This is basically going to be, um, I'm not sure what I'm putting in each one right now at the moment, but I do know this one will have, um, will have stuff specific to the, to the machine bench. So like, this will probably be where we end up storing our aluminum and resin in order to turn it into PCABS and aluminum alloy. So we're just going to drop these three down here for now and call that good enough. Now let's go take a look and see about the machine tool and what we need to make it. So scroll all the way on down here and you'll see the machine tool is right here. We need makeshift parts, we need metal, and we need recycled plastic. Now I can already tell you right now, metal is going to be a problem. Um, I don't think we have, I don't think we have a hundred metal to be honest, because this bat just eats and eats and eats the metal. Um, so what do we have? We have 57. Okay. We might, we might be able to squeak it out by doing some salvaging, which I'll show you guys here in just a minute. We'll just meander our way back over here. So now I did have a problem off camera. I had one of my scouts get stuck. Um, I did have to make a portal quick and pop him back out. Uh, kind of wish I would have showed that to be perfectly honest. But anyway, oh, wait a second. We do have enough metal, just enough too. That means we're going to have to be making a, making a metal run here pretty quick. Uh, we needed that. What was the other thing? We needed makeshift parts, metal, and I have no idea. I completely, completely spaced on that one. Give me the big one. Whatever, just do that then. You can click the shelters here to jump to them as well. I prefer to click on the, the little white icon. It's just easier. Um, then you know exactly which one you're going to. So what was the other thing we needed now? Plastic, 100 plastic. We actually have that outside, so we won't have to go far for that. We have that in this guy right here. They brought a whole bunch of stuff because, again, I wasn't sure exactly what it was going to cost to take the shelter. And I just wanted to bring a bunch of stuff just so we didn't have to run back and forth and, you know. Anyway, so we can go ahead and make this now. And this doesn't take too long to make. I mean, it takes 30 seconds. Uh, and once we got this, now we'll be able to start uh, turning the aluminum and the, the resin into PCABS and aluminum alloy. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a huge, huge advancement. I, I feel like the machine tool is probably, probably the, one of the most needed benches in the game. Um, Obviously, you're not going to be able to make certain benches without having other ones. So that will make them equally as important. But at this point in the game, having the machine tool does so much for you. So you'll see you're able to make certain stuff like you would on like the workbench and stuff like that. But where you get into what you need is right here. So resin and plastic combined to make PCABS. Uh, it is expensive and you only get one piece per that amount. So 100 resin and 100 recycled plastic will net you 20 PCABS. Uh, just like making aluminum alloy, very expensive. It takes eight metal, five aluminum, and two chemicals in order to make one piece of alloy. So it's very expensive. Uh, it takes a lot, a lot to make it. So resources are going to be, be kind of a lot of the busy work. That's going to be coming up. Um, now, aluminum, aluminum, going to mine aluminum serves two purposes. One, it serves leveling up because you take a few grenades with you and you can gain just a, just a ton of XP. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. And so you get two things for one there. Not only that, but if you're going to get aluminum, you might as well go across the road and get the resin because you're right there. So it's a fantastic, fantastic location. 
Um, but as you can see, you can make tons of stuff in here. Mechanical parts you make from metal, gears, and springs. Uh, you don't really need to make them. Once you know where you can actually loot them, you can loot so many of them, you'll never, never have to make one in-game. Uh, same goes for ammo. You know, with the junkyard, if you go there with shotgun and 30, 40 rounds, you know, you can go there and you can loot, what, 500 of each, each type of ammo, give or take, each time you go there. So it's really, you know, another thing where if you don't want to end up, if you don't want to cheese it by leaning into the, into the POI to get the ammo, sure, you can, you can go ahead and make the ammo and stuff. Uh, rifle ammo is simple to get. You get a ton of it just by farming enforcers. So again, it's something that you really don't need, and it's not a cheese either. Uh, it's just something really simple. But as you can see, you can make a lot of the stuff you really need most on this uh, on this bench itself. And of course, later you get on to like the lithium ion battery, and then the the Zobi gasoline, uh, which is used for the big cargo, which is a complete end game thing. Um, I think it's area 13, I believe it is, which is way away. But anyway, you can also make charcoal on here so you don't have to have a campfire lit in order to get it for making gunpowder. Uh, all you do is take wood and the thing just spins it into charcoal for you. So another fantastic part about this bench here. Uh, but now, now one thing that we can do is now that we have um, these benches in here, instead of having them in that other shelter as well, what we can do there now is we can focus our attention on making like this. The medicine bench takes cement, recycled metal, and wood. Uh, we could also put something like the stove, the refrigerator, our distillery, um, and the oven in there and start making our own foods, drinks, uh, have, the, have the generator going nonstop to make make sure our food doesn't spoil and our drinks don't spoil. So it's going to be a fantastic thing for a while there having that. Yes, if we had the big shelter, the two-story one, we wouldn't have to worry about having benches in different shelters. But trust me when I say we're going to, we're really going to want to wait for that because of, because of what comes. So now we need some more recycled metal. Uh, we do need to make some, some of those big spikes and make sure our shelter is nice and secure here. They are very expensive, but they are well worth it. Where the wood spikes are like 900 HP, I believe it is, these metal ones are 2,500. So it's quite, it's quite a difference, but again, very expensive. As you can see, we can only make six of them right now. And this is where I was talking about we'll need hide for later. Uh, you do need two pieces of hide per, but Recycled metal, recycled metal, recycled metal. It is just a, you know, it's kind of a back and forth thing. When you're making PCABS, you need the plastic. When you're making spikes to secure your shelter, making ammo, you know, stuff like that, you're gonna need recycled metal. So the junkyard becomes a very important farmable spot. Uh, once you actually occupy it, the enforcers don't spawn back and you can go there whenever, fill up your scouts and leave with just hundreds and hundreds or even thousands of recycled materials. So anyway, we got our spikes done. Now we're only gonna be putting them in front of the generator for the moment because obviously we don't have a lot of recycled metal. So we are going to be in need of making a loot run for that again here. So what we do is I just put them too wide across the first one here and then We'll come out and place them again. That's that's good for now. We are going to be making more to protect this later on. But as you can see, 2,500 HP, so it will take a while for the zombies to be able to bust into that. Now, unfortunately for now, we're not going to be able to protect our doorways too well. Um, zombies aren't going to be too likely to get up on this side right there in the small slots. However, they do like to spawn up on this hill back here and come up in here. So we are going to need, you know, a significant more amount of spikes here uh, in order to thoroughly protect the, 
from from the zombies coming in so obviously we're not going to go too overboard with it we're just going to put a couple down here for now and make do but like i said we do we are going to need to do a run for that get some more of it obviously we're going to need more from making benches um as you guys can see it does require a little bit of stuff the stove requires cookware which to be honest you can skip the stove anything you can make on the stove you can make on the oven so i'm telling you guys right now if you have the oven unlocked and you have not made the stove yet skip it you can go straight to the oven the oven unlocks more stuff for you to make anyway and then it only takes one slot up you don't have to worry about that you can save the other slot for another refrigerator uh because i believe the stove is a small slot structure and the oven is a medium so you can save the other structure slot for a fridge or even a storage crate it's completely up to you guys what you want to put there so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to make the distillery we're going to make the medicine bench we're going to make a refrigerator and we're going to make the oven so that's going to be what's going to end up going in the other structure in the other uh uh other shelter not structure um but anyway at level 29 we unlock the safes safes are absolutely fantastic i cannot i cannot say this enough about safes safes have so much room to them but they are very expensive as you can see 20 alloy 15 pc abs 10 mechanical parts and six gears to make one but once you get them you're not going to want to make anything else they're just so much they're just so worth it and basically after that none of the rest of the stuff matters until you know extremely late game you could make a watchtower if you want to but otherwise everything else down here that's unlocked at level 40 is all for the big cargo which again is something that is going to be a long way down the road um not even something we're going to need to worry about at the moment so with that said um we can go check out our resources and see if we do have enough to even pop up the medicine bench we do need uh oh wait we need sand i don't think i even saved any sand because to make cement to make cement you need water you need sand and you need stone so in order to make 20 we need 300 sand which isn't a lot if we would have saved a couple stacks from mine from mining this uh the chemicals we'd have it uh but you don't get nearly nearly enough sand out of like the boulders which i'll show you guys here uh just so you can see otherwise i'd say let's go just farm some boulders and make it happen but it yeah it doesn't work that way uh you'll see what i mean here in just a minute but 23 sand 30 sand total and almost 200 rocks so we'd need a lot of these well, actually i think we could make that happen i think there's whoops let's actually hit the damn thing I think we could make that happen um not at 18 though that's for sure just get rid of the stone really don't need that stone's super easy to get as you guys can see get absolutely loads of it so go ahead and drop the big stacks but we're at 70 sand and there's tons of these boulder nodes around this shelter so there's another 21. oh i was going to show you guys something on the map here as well this is a great spot to come and fill up your water bottles if you need to when you're if you are uh if you are set up here and then there is some houses and stuff along here as well i don't typically tend to ever loot out here uh to be perfectly honest I don't know that I ever have come out here and check these buildings out ever to be honest I don't think I ever have um, but it is a possibility and it is close by as well but as you can see a bunch more boulders around here so we're gonna try to get that done up real quick we don't need a lot of stone for making that so if you guys are wondering why I'm dropping all this I also have stone in my other in my other shelter as well so it's not like we're we're gonna run out of we're gonna run out of stone we'll did i hit the deer behind that i think i hit the damn deer back there i must have hit the deer because zombie didn't even 
Didn't even twitch. So, hmm. Oh, I thought he was going to keep going a little bit more. And yes, this, that is one bad thing about the game. It being in third person, the guns are are a little bit meh to use because of that third person angle. But look at all that stone we just got out of that one. I mean, we honestly can just drop it all. We're only at 144. Yes, I, I know I should have saved some from mining in the area one layer, but... I wasn't smart enough. I didn't. I honestly didn't even think about making that medicine bench, so that's my bad. Um, it's not going to take too long to get this though. You can actually crack the zombies with this too. You can see. It does kind of. It's kind of funny when you hit them with it. Look. It kind of like doubles them over. It's pretty. It's pretty fun. Not really a practical weapon though. If I do say so myself, because obviously it takes a few hits. And it is very slow. So, but it is pretty cool. You can also use the axe here as well. The axe does work all right as well. The axe actually swings more like a, more like an actual melee weapon, though. So, it's fun to play around with. If you guys want something different than the conventional weapons, you know, it does work pretty good, as you can see. Chops right through them. And it's fun. It's a nice little change of pace from, from the everyday ordinary stuff so yeah i i can honestly say i've i've never been over here that i that i know of i've never been over here there's a lot of places on the map that i've honestly never been to um just because i found i found some some loot spots that are just fantastic and really have no um no need whatsoever to go to go to the other spots just because of where i actually farm for specific stuff it just works out so great because of how many buildings are there or you know what else is actually there so sometimes you just never have a need to branch out and find the other stuff like this and easy to forget it's easy to forget spots on the map or just completely avoid them at all so go ahead and chop this guy down to size bam love that it's a pretty cool swing pattern with this and it's awesome when you hit him with that sledgehammer watching him get get knocked down like that that is pretty cool so we'll we'll probably have to try try using um the last tier of harvesting tools too, just to see how them work as well. But this is a two-story shelter over here, so just another another option to take over, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I said, I I don't think I can I can honestly say I don't think I've ever been over here. I know I've been over to this little like pothole to fill up my jars and stuff like that, but. I don't think I have ever honestly come over and checked out this area. So it's pretty neat to actually come over here and just, just take a peek. You know, there's a few shelters over here. A couple medium sized ones, the large one there. Looks like one of the baby shelters over there. So here looks like another medium sized one. So it's actually a pretty, pretty healthy area of, of shelters over here, which is pretty good to know. Sometime we might have to just change it up and try something different and see what happens. Yeah, let's get back now. Uh, like I said, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna do that up. Try to get that medicine bench made up. Um, now at least I can show you guys that quick. And next episode though, we are going to uh, be going up to the to the area seven layer, as I mentioned, and we will also. Uh, we will also go to the Area 6 POI, the lumber yard, and try to get ourselves some resin there as well. Now that we have all the scouts, it's going to be it's going to be great. Uh, it really is. Now, another thing I do want to say is I have used this shelter before um, as like my medicine and food bench, 
shelter just because it's right by the water here and it's a very easy spot just to run up you know run right down your front step and fill up your jars so the only problem I have is it's only it's the smaller medium shelter it's not the it's not the same as this one over here that has the three and three it's a three and two structure one so is slightly smaller and sometimes that extra slot can make quite a bit of difference for for what you need to place in there so oh bad shots terrible all right let's keep on going here can't remember what exactly else we needed i know we needed recycled metal uh that might be that might be slightly difficult uh, I'm not sure exactly what we have left. We've been we've been burning through a lot of the resources, crafting up the new benches and stuff like that. Uh, of course, making them. So yeah, the the resources go very quick at this point in the game, and it's very easy to uh, end up using up too many of them. We're gonna have to fast travel to our other shelters here and see exactly what we got. I think I have some in here. Not in that one. That's the ammo one. Um, no, I don't. Ooh, that might be a problem. Need to take some food with us. Hmm. Have to check the other one. We might not actually have the recycled metal. I really don't think we do. Huh. Well, all right. Well, I guess that's going to that's going to mean we're going to be Oh, I don't want to scrap down all that shrapnel though, but let's see. Let's see how good the shrapnel is for scrapping. Hmm. Well, how much do we need? Is the question. 50. Yeah, we can't scrap down 50 because we need to make grenades for tomorrow. Could scrap down those. What else do we have? Um, scrap down them. Let's scrap down half of that. See what that nets us first, then we'll go from there. That should do us do us pretty well. See what we get. We're gonna be just shy, I think, though, unfortunately. Yeah, we're we're pretty we're pretty damn low on resources, as you guys can see. It it goes quick. You guys saw how much we pulled all the junkyard that's already gone so the metal is completely gone already now um, unfortunately it does go that quick uh, and that's the one that was the one big problem I had with only having the one scout was it's so hard to bring back a decent enough amount um, it just you, you got to have more you do be honest so we still need a little bit more uh, we also need to eat and drink here quick so we can go ahead and do that and we can also salvage these down those do give you metal back so we needed 50 right we should have enough just from these cans here so i think we're good i think we're good salvage these down and, and then that'll do us the only problem we're gonna have is when we go up to the area seven layer, we're not going to be, we're not going to be meleeing because obviously we're going to need, we're going to need metal to repair our, our metal bat. And as you guys can see, it's only got, it's not even a third of the way gone and it already requires 10 metal. So we do have this pinion mace, which is still pretty good yet. We're going to save that for in the layer though, but yeah, we're pretty pretty low on on stuff. We do have a good amount of ammo yet, so that's a good thing for sure.
spot. Anyway, medicine bench still needs cement, and we need wood yet. We got plenty of wood. Um, the cement requires uh, the the jars. But what I was going to do was I was going to grab tainted water for it. That's one thing I do want to point out. Make sure you have tainted water when you're doing this, because if you if you actually have the purified water on you, it will use that. So you will have to make sure make damn sure that you do not want to use your tainted water for that so anyway we got the wood over here um it should be i don't remember which storage one has my wood in it it's not you there it is beautiful and we're also going to drop our pure water off in here so that doesn't end up getting used come on in here we'll check out this medicine bench quick then we'll go and i'll show you guys how to demolish a bench that you already have made uh we need to make the cement wrong bench come on in here now and use this one and what are we yeah we just needed 20. i was about to say i was like uh we need 30. no we just need 20. so Again, it, it doesn't take very long to craft this stuff up, but unfortunately you're stuck in the damn bench. Um, it is unfortunate that you can't get like an automated bench where you can start stuff up, leave the bench, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll make do. It doesn't take that long. So, and again, lots of stuff on here that we'll get to making. The main two things are right here, though. PC ABS and the aluminum alloy. So that'll do us. And as you guys can see, it did use our tainted water for that. So we made sure that we did that for that reason. Uh, now we can go ahead and pop this bad boy out. And now we'll take it over there, get this place down. And we're gonna, again, we're gonna need more resources before we make the rest of the stuff. The refrigerator, you know, well, we could actually make the refrigerator. We actually have everything except the power tools for it um this here again needs metal um the oven needs regular metal not recycled metal so you know it's kind of it's kind of a little bit of a resource grind but i do have i do have an idea to figure that out at some point um and and make that less of a grind so anyway you can go ahead and destroy your benches by coming in here you just hold f and you'll see the destroy bar once that's filled up you can click on it and as you see you do get some resources back uh you don't get all of them but you know you do get a decent part back so actually we did get we got 50 recycled metal back that was a lot more than i thought we were going to get back so we could actually, I think we can actually make that so. But as you can see, if you place this bench here, you will not be able to use the fast travel panel. So make sure you place the right benches in the right spots. Especially, it's basically just in this shelter that that becomes a problem. Uh, so just make sure you, you are aware of that. But anyway, now is where antibiotics come into play. And you cannot craft the damn things. So... This is why you farm for antibiotics, and there's a lot of stuff in here that it's pretty good for. So as you can see, there's a resetting potion. It resets all your stats. Uh, then you can basically respec how you want them. Is it worth it? It could be, but it's very expensive. 30 zombie plasma, 30 zombie tissue. Plasma comes from the brutes. Tissue comes from the spider zombies. So tougher zombies to get in order to get to that uh the super healing potion here you need a couple zombie venom empty bottle the echinacea and 25 antibiotics it costs a lot but it is definitely a nice thing to have however meds are not something that i ever really felt a need to craft because food and drinks give you back the same stuff and all it requires is fruits veggies meats and water and echinacea and it's so much simpler than trying to grind for antibiotics 
Uh, once you have the, the Bosco store, the Area 3 POI, you can craft up more food than you'll ever know what to do with and loot more food than you'll ever know what to do with. Um, that is one of the... Probably one of the best earlier game POIs just because of all that. You get so much healing and stuff like that all there. It's incredible. But anyway, greater antibiotic potion, 20 antibiotics, 20 echinacea, one zombie plasma, one empty bottle. Very, very expensive. Uh, if antibiotics were easier to come by, I could see this med bench being like super important. But unfortunately... You know, as you guys can see, uh, everything's kind of expen expensive. Adrenaline just gives you stamina back, uh, which is very handy if you're running a lot. So, and it's it's relatively cheap for what it is. But otherwise, as you guys can see, everything is pretty much a bit on the spendy side with that. So it is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So anyway, guys, that's all for this episode. We're going to get prepared and get heading out for uh, the Area 7 layer in the next episode and Area 6 POI. So I am going to be making that journey off camera. I will show you guys exactly how to get here quick. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to go right up through here. Um, now you can go, you can go tons of different ways. I mean, it really, de really depends. We could go up, hang a left and follow the big road and you'll come out right across from both of them, which is probably the one I'm gonna take. Um, you could also just go up here to the fork, take a right, then take a left to the big road. You go all the way over here, up and along through past that POI. There's tons of different ways you can actually get up there. So, you know, dealer's choice on that one is what I'll say. But I'm probably going to go up here and just hang that left and follow the giant road up. And it's pretty easy to get there. So anyway, guys, like I said, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you guys take the time to hit that like button. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and you trigger those notification bells so you never miss out on any of these videos. And again, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys for the next video.